scaffolding and bracing. In this section, we will illustrate one method of bracing the walls and building scaffolding. We will review and illustrate types of scaffolding and bracing, building braces, and attaching scaffolding. Once you have completed the third course of blocks, it is time to install the scaffold and bracing system. If you are tall enough, you may be able to install the scaffolding after you have set the fourth course of blocks. The scaffold and bracing systems support the walls and allow the crew to work off the ground to reach higher up the walls. There are various types and manufacturers of prefabricated scaffolding. We assume that you are familiar with the principles and components of such systems. In this video, we will describe how to install a lumber scaffold and bracing system. Attach the vertical part of the braces to the walls at 5 foot 4 inches to 6 foot intervals starting 8 to 24 inches from each corner. Screw the braces into the ties using 3 inch screws. Use at least one screw per course. You will need to hold down or get someone else to hold down the top course of block to ensure it does not lift off the block below when you are screwing the screws into the ties. Attach scaffold brackets, handrail brackets, or both to the vertical braces. These brackets are usually placed roughly 30 inches to 36 inches from the finished pour height of the wall or whatever height constitutes a comfortable working height to place and finish the concrete. Okay, now, now that we've set the diagonal brace, we have to pull our wall online and put our, put our wall right on our chalk line that we snapped to the inside line right there. You can see that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then we have to adjust our uh, adjust our turn buckle and make sure that the distance there's enough play to push the wall out or suck the wall back in. A very important fact that many people forget. Yeah. Now we're just going to temporarily set this. We'll set the wall plumb. Okay. Great. Okay, we crisscross these rebar pins. That way, our the foot plate of our adjustment can't move up or down. So it's in a fixed position now. If you only use one pin, it'll slide up or down, and it won't do you any good as an anchor. Turn buckles are adjustable bracing devices that hold walls steady. Turn buckles are also used to adjust the alignment of walls before and after the concrete has been poured. Install the turn buckle part of the bracing system. Attach the diagonal brace, complete with turnbuckles, to the vertical braces with a half-inch bolt or a short piece of rebar or two to three-inch screws if you are using dimensional lumber. Before securing the bottom part of the unit to the ground, make sure the turnbuckle is adjusted to a central point. This will make it easier to make adjustments later on. Using a four-foot level as a guide, lean the wall in half to three-quarter inches and secure the base of the turnbuckle to the ground. The reason for leaning the wall inward slightly is that as the concrete is placed, the bracing will tighten up and the wall will have a tendency to lean to the outside. With the wall pulled in slightly, it is likely to move closer to plumb during this process. Moreover, it is much easier to push the wall out with the turnbuckles than to pull it in.